Hey everybody, Fabio here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be back in Toon Boom, and I thought it would be a good idea to take a look at pivot points. So it may not seem that important, but when you're animating everything you do from transformations, rotations, to scaling, it all depends on that information in those pivot points. Even having just a basic knowledge of pivot points can really help you understand why parts are moving the way that they are when you're working with a rig. So this should be a quick video, let's get into it. So this video we're going to focus on peg pivot. So when we animate, we use these things called pegs, and each peg, if we double click this yellow box, has its own set of pivot information at the bottom here. So X and Y, you can see they're set to zero. If we click the hand, in our camera view, a blue dot appears. This tells Toon Boom where to scale our hand from, where to rotate our hand from, and even where to translate our hand from. So for example, if I rotate and add a tweet, it rotates around that point. So let's say I wanted to move my pivot point from this position to somewhere around my wrist to make my hand wave. Well, let's go select our pivot point here, see that little key, and move it down. That seems to have worked, right? We can move it like this, but when I click off and click back on, we have a problem. Our pivot point is back to its original position. So what we just did was called a temporary move, and that is good for small changes, but we want to make something permanent. To permanently move this, let's go to Window, and select Toolbars, Advanced Animation, and when you click that, this is going to show up somewhere. Click this little rotate arrow, and now we can select our pivot point and move it where we want. Now when we click off, it's permanently moved to where we want it to be. For our last exercise, I have a permanent pivot on my arm peg, but let's say I wanted the exact same information on my arm master peg. To do that, we double click our properties for our arm, double click our properties for our arm master, and we're just going to copy and paste the pivot information from one to the other. So this is permanent pivot information. So now if we go to our arm master, So we're just about out of time. I hope you guys learned something about pivot points. Any questions, comment below, but that's it for now. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see everybody in the next video. Happy animating.